Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. I am going to share with you a little bit of some of my empties and a little bit of some of my camping trip and um, that's probably about it. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of stuff to share with you, but I do have some empties and you may or may not be interested in them, but I hope you are. And I hope you stay tuned for a little bit of the uh, camping trip because I share a sunrise and it was just so pretty. Anyways, if you're interested, stay tuned. <laughs> Thank you so much guys thank you thank you thank you so i i've been collecting empties for a while i never go through a whole bunch of things but you know what i was thinking gosh you know since march i have not really shopped but once for a foundation for any new makeup you know at all and I was like, oh, okay. So a couple of things that, you know, had been sent to me that I really enjoyed was the open formula. And I think I talked about the oil cleanser um, that was sent to me for review. The price is amazing. I really, really, I've never used an oil cleanser before. So I was really super excited about it. And I loved how it I just loved how it made my skin feel and then I also used their exfoliating so that's what I've been sticking to I haven't bought any new cleansers yet at all and I don't think I'm going to I really I really like them a lot now prior to that I was a CeraVe person and I always used the hydrating facial cleanser and I would buy these when they were on sale so I would have a stock and and all of that well I really like this a lot this this has been my my cleanser of choice for a long time now i've always been a, a two or three step when it comes to washing my skin at night especially in the summer because i wear so much sunblock that i really really have to work at getting the sunblock off so I've been using the Open Formula Oil Cleanser, but I also have some of my balms that I will use around my eyes at times. But what I've been finding that in, you know, in the past that I always had to do at least three steps for my cleansing, I've been finding I don't have to anymore. So sometimes I'll take a little bit of a balm and I'll just go right around and take my mascara off. Most times I don't. Most times what I do is I take the open formula, the oil cleanser, and I massage it around my eyes. Then I massage it into my skin really, really good. And then I will take my Foreo and I'll turn my Foreo, wet my skin a little bit, and I will just massage all the more. And what I've been finding with the oil cleanser is that it actually digs deep into getting that that sunblock off i mean i use the australian gold mineral sunblock 50 spf tinted for my face and that's my base and then i might use a uh, a makeup that has sunblock in it and the last one that i bought that has sunblock in it was actually the number seven which i really like but so if you think about it i've got a lot of sunblock on my face so the first thing i do when i come home is i take it all off i want my skin to breathe so being able to breathe is important. So I'm not replacing this because I'm so super happy with what I am using. I really love it. I love it a lot. The oil just has worked out super good. I think Open Formula is a great company with great products. So yeah, not being replaced. I also ran out of the Lancome. Now I got sent a smaller bottle of this from Molly and Fab and Glam. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it. I actually put it in the motorhome. Um, but I ran out of this and this I was using just to remove my eye makeup. I really like this a lot, um, but I also use the Equate version that I get at Walmart. I use a couple of different versions of, of this just to remove my eye makeup. And this cleans it really well. And so did this. And so does the open formula. So dollar for dollar, I'm going to stick to the open formula. But these are empties. I'm glad I can finally get rid of them. One of the things that I've been trying this all probably for, I don't know, has it been about a month now that I've been trying the, and I, and I really wanted to really look at this. This is the City 
This was sent to me complimentary. This is the City Beauty Beyond Mascara. I think I had mentioned that when I received this and in a PR pack. Well, I didn't want to open it up. I didn't want to try the mascara until I finished my current mascara. And the one that I have is the Essence Last Lash Princess. You know what? No matter what mascara I've used, whether it's the It Superhero, I have the Lancome that I really liked. I have the City Beauty one. I still go back to this, so I don't have a backup of this. I've gone through them all. But this is on my when I get to the store type of thing that I'm going to pick another one of these up because I really, I really like them a lot. So, yep, yeah, finally, finally emptied that out. The other thing that I did finish, and surprisingly, I really like this, but this is the Age Rewind, and I know a lot of the women talk about this. I really like this, but I use this as, a, I never put something completely under my eyes, except a brightener, um, the Essence Brightener in pink, which I really like. But I will get another one of these Age Rewinds, and because I can do a spot check with them, and I really like it. I'll probably get a lighter color. Um, I can't remember what color this is, and I'm not too sure I can read it. I can't. If I can, I'll put it in the description below. So I do like this. I'll probably pick up another one, but I'm not going to rush to the store to buy it just yet. One other thing I finally finished was the Pixie Skin, Skin Treats. This is their Vitamin C Serum. You can get this at Target. You can get this in many different stores. Pixie makes an amazing line of products. I love the majority of their products that I've used and tried. I get Pixie PR, so I just want to say that. And I believe that this came in a PR package. I have bought Pixie Glow Tonic. Um, I bought other Pixie products, but I've never bought their vitamin C. This came, I'm pretty sure, in one of the PR packs. I used it. I finished it. I liked it. it. I like my Timeless Vitamin C so far the best. I am using Open Formulas Vitamin C because they also sent me that. And while I like it, I still love how my Timeless Vitamin C goes on my face, how it feels on my face. It's my tried and true. So Open Formula has a really good, very affordable Vitamin C. So far, I've been using it and it plays nice with my makeup. The Pixie, I had some pilling problems with it, and it's a thicker um, consistency. So, yeah, it's nice, but no, um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to spend my money on it. One product that I have used for so many years is my Timeless Eye Cream. I may have talked about running low on this. I did finally, I mean, totally empty this out, and I'm going to hold off buying it because I have so many other eye creams that I'm using and I want to get through. However, I love the Timeless Eye Cream. I think it is really one of the best. It is one of the best. I love my, and I've talked about these. These are the Bed and Body Works, um, their hand soaps. Around Christmas time, I bought like 25 of them because they go on sale. They're super affordable. You can get any flavors you want, fragrance, whatever. Um, I bought a ton of them because they give them for gifts. And I didn't realize how handy they would come during these last few months. But I, this turquoise water is one of my favorites. I just really like this one. I have several of these. I have, I have mm, only three left in backup, but I do. So, yeah, I like these a lot. And when you get the sale on those, and I like the foaming ones. So, when you can pick up a sale on that, I think it's really an awesome, awesome opportunity. I finished two foundations. Yahoo! One was my Estee Lauder. All gone. Dried out. History. And the other was uh, my Boots Number no. 7 Lift and Luminate, the Triple Action Serum Foundation. So I will say that on, on a regular basis, I have really been liking my Boots Number no. 7 a lot, and I love my Estee Lauder. So I have my Estee Lauder as a backup, and I have a bottle of my Boots Number no. 7 as a backup that I haven't opened these yet. Because I want to, I you know, I don't know how true it is whether or not uh, products oxidize or not. I'm feeling that they probably can oxidize, you know, the more they're open. So I just, I just want to finish what I have open. And to me, that's like a real, you know, to me, that's like a real important thing. So I have a couple of, believe it or not, I think I have two almost empty CYO bottles. 
and I have um, the one that I'm really working on right now that I opened and I have on my face right now is my Lancome. I got that in the Christmas gift thing at the holidays. So I opened it, I don't know, maybe about three months ago and I said, well, this is gone. I'm going to use my Lancome. I don't know why I would save it for a, a good day, you know what I mean, or a, a special occasion. I'm worried that once they're opened, they will oxidize and, and, you know, and I don't want to take that chance. So I could be wrong. One of you could maybe research it and tell me if I'm right or wrong. That's really it for my empties. And now I'm going to enclose a picture. Jay and I went camping and we had the most amazing time. We got into the beach campground, which was extremely hard to get into. And the only reason we actually got that site is because when our governor opened it up, he only opened it up for New Hampshire residents. So all the people that had reservations inside for a year, unfortunately, couldn't come. So we were able to take someone's place for that first for that week. And, um, and so we had a waterfront site right near the mouth of the ocean. And oh my gosh, we had, we just had so much fun vegging at our campsite. I worked every day, but one day I took a full day off and, uh, but all the other days I worked half days and, or full days. And sometimes I worked right from the camp or from the motorhome. So I really liked that. But one morning I got up and I walked down to the, the sunrise and watch the sunrise and I'm going to put that clip because it's a long clip I'm going to put it on the tail end of this so if somebody wants to watch it they can if they don't they don't have to but we had lobsters we had steamers you know we had too much to drink <laughs> my sister came and visited friends of ours um, camped down the the other end of the campground came over we had fires it was just it was just such a relaxing, a relaxing day and or t or a week, I should say, even though I had to work through most of it. It was it was actually so it was so wonderful. So, um, yeah, that's that's I'm filming this on Father's Day this afternoon. We're going to go down to my mom and dad's house and I don't know when this will be edited and published, but, you know, if I can get it done, I'll get it done. But anyways, we're going to go down to my mom and dad's house. My sister's going to meet us there and it's going to be my sister, my mom and dad, myself and my husband, Jay. And we're going to have like seafood dinner that we're, um, we took takeout that my sister's going to pick up on her way down and spend some time with my dad. So yeah, it'll be, it'll be a special day. So I hope you all, I hope you guys are all healthy. I hope you're all well. Stay tuned for my sunrise. I appreciate every single one of you. Bye guys. Good morning world. Sun is gonna come up right over there. I think dawn is such a pretty, pretty time of day. Nobody on the beach. When I walked down, I saw one set of footprints one set. Could have been someone that had the same idea as me, come out, try to catch the sunrise. It's just so pretty. the landscape that the tides create on the sand, the ripples. I think sometimes I wish I was an artist, a painter, so I could paint these moments or these little scenes. I mean, I don't know if you could pick up this water running ever so slightly right here. see it, but little bubbles of water. Ooh, it's cold. <laughs> see what's over on this side. When the tide comes in, it fills this whole place up to where that lighter sand line is over there. Oh, Mr. C. 
Chico. Straight out there. I think is where the sun is gonna rise. Oh, what you got? He's got something. He found lunch. You see? It's picking it up. There's actually a little crescent hole right there. Two people walking down there. I thought they were going to stop at this. No, nope. can you see the sun? There. These people are going to be walking right in front of it right now. That's where it's going to come up. I can already see the shape of it. It's going to be a hot day today. Hot, 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 hot. I'm just like over here by the the rocks a little bit. Oh, there she comes. <laughs> I think there's something so special. So special about being able to see the sunrise like that. The world is a beautiful place, even though it's going through some ugly times right now, it is a beautiful place. I'll try to walk over here without falling, oops, sorry. Gives you a little bit of a better view of it rising. Good morning, Mr. Sun. And good morning to the whole world from the East Coast of New Hampshire. Well, the East Coast of, of the United States. Overlooking the mighty Atlantic Ocean. I'll stay on the beach for you guys. Still pretty empty. Just a few other people that got up early. In a couple of hours, this whole, well, the tide will come in, so it'll be less sand, but there's still a good amount of beach here in Hampton. But in a couple of hours, this will be all full of people. And I will be at work. I'm working in our Exeter office today. So I'm actually going to leave the beach to go to work in Exeter. And then I'll be coming back this afternoon. So pretty, so pretty. Some sunrises are just unbelievable because the whole sky turns different colors. This one's a little bit more on the muted color in real life. I'm seeing a lot of uh, pink and orange. And and it could be because it's just so hot. It was hot yesterday and it's going to be in the 90s today. You know, that there's some haze over there. So also there's no cloud covering. You know, that sometimes when you have a lot of cloud covering and the sun is rising, it's really pretty because it's very dramatic in between the clouds. I really love it. I do. 
happy Thursday, everyone. Happy Thursday. Here she is. Kind of undramatic, but I'm still I'm still happy I came down and watched it. Undra undramatic for sure. But isn't it pretty? Too funny, these are my footprints when I walk down here undisturbed. At least I'll be able to find my way back to where I parked my flip-flops, right? Unless somebody took them. <laughs> I didn't walk a straight line, that's for sure. That's very typical of me. Jay says, I can never walk a straight line. Are my shoes still here? Oh yeah, I see my flip-flops. Undisturbed. And I slowly make my way back up over the sand dunes to head back towards the campground really love it this time of the morning. These cones were put here for um, social distancing purposes, COVID-19. So you could have a one-way path down to the beach. It's actually a pretty short walk from my motorhome from where we're camping here at the state park. Pretty well the only people that use this path are the campers actually. Those folks that have reservations to stay at the state beach, whether they're at the campground like I'm showing you right now or they're in overflow in the parking lot. Only campers can really come over to this section. This is sort of like a little community section for those people that may not have a waterfront site that want to sit by the river. This is the mouth of the river and overlooking Hampton Harbor, obviously, and out to the mighty Atlantic over there. It's actually a very small, small state park. There's only like 28 sites that are inside the campground which makes it almost impossible to get reservations in season. Almost impossible. And that's the bridge into Hampton Harbor and Seabrook Harbor. There's my motorhome. Let's see, I put all my furniture away at night. Some people leave theirs out. I tried to put mine or pick it up anyway, so mine's all folded up here. So I've got a fire pit, my table, my chairs. My view, where I came from. Back at my door.